The History of the Poster, The Belle Epoque, by Yaniv Design. From 1890 to 1900, Europe and America were in a frenzy over a new form of advertising, a new form of art, the color advertising poster. The streets of Paris became filled with wonderful colorful images created by some of the most talented artists of the day. It was all started by Jules Charest, the father of the poster, who did over a thousand posters. He perfected color lithography and his designs were seen all over Paris, which was then the center of the art universe. This was Paris at the time of the Moulin Rouge and the Follies Bergère, of the divine Sarah Bernhardt and the alluring Yvette Guibert of the great artists Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec, the most famous artist of the era, and Alphonse Mucha, the father of Art Nouveau, and later Capiello, the father of modern advertising, each creating poster masterpieces. The poster was new and the streets of Paris were like a public art gallery, advertising everything from cabarets to lamp oil. The Industrial Revolution was in full swing and the cities were filled with a new middle class which wanted to put art in their homes. The poster printers saw the interest and printed extra posters which were sold by print dealers. This is how the early posters survived. Posters were inexpensive and decorative and people wanted to collect them. There were poster shows and exhibitions drawing thousands of visitors. There were poster collecting clubs and poster publications all over Europe and the United States. Antique posters are still collected to this day. These early posters are like windows to a time gone by. A time to be remembered. The beautiful era. The Belle Epoque. Simple Understanding by Yaniv Design.